So this is going to be the shortest video on the smallest autopilot feature of all in UiPath Studio. It'll help you get a better overview of your code. Let's get to it. All right, so we're jumping right into UiPath Studio and I have a small automation built here. It has the main sequence in it. In that sequence, it has a read range workbook activity that reads from an Excel sheet that's sitting in my desktop. In that Excel sheet, there is a, um, or in that workbook, there's a sheet called companies. And for each of the rows in the data table that is retrieved from that sheet, we're just going to look at a column in that row and see if the number of employees in the company is above 100,000. And if it's above 100,000, it's going to make a log message saying big company. And if not, it's going to make another log message saying small company. So this is <laughs> as simple as it gets. So this is all good and it's very simple. So I have a good overview of what I'm doing here. If I go to uh, my outline panel over here, it gives me an outline, but it's not very good. You know, yeah, it says main sequence. It says read range workbook. It says for each. And then it goes into body, body, if, then, then, and else, and log message. Just some very nondescript uh, descriptions of what is going on. But Autopilot can help us with this. And this is a little known feature, and it's quite well hidden as well. And by the way, you need Studio 2024.10 for this to work. But what you can do is you can go to any uh, activity or sequence and just double click it or you can just go to it and right click and say rename, or you can select it and press F2, then you get into the rename function. And when you do that, you can see this little autopilot icon. And basically, if you click it, it's going to try to summarize what the sequence or activity does. So if I click it for this uh, sequence up here, it's going to take a second and then it's going to change the name of the sequence to a very short description of what this sequence does. Read range, iterate rows, log company size. This is pretty clever. It really is. And it doesn't do it for all of the underlying activities, but uh, you know you can select those that you want and then have it summarize uh, them. And as with anything, Gen AI results will vary. So if I hit, uh, for example, this uh, if statement and click the summarize button, let's see what it comes up with. If check employees, and if I do it again, it might come up with something different. So sometimes you might have to try things a couple of times in order to get the result that you want. Um, this is not uh, changing anything. You know, I've, I've seen it do a couple of different things, but, but for now, we'll just go with this. And then we can just, uh, for example, for the log message, that's also very nondescript. So I'll double click that, hit the summarize button, go to the other log message down here below and hit the summarize button. And you can do more of them at once. So really, um, this can very easily give you some better naming for your activities. And now if we go over to um, our outline over here, we can see that, well, we're still just doing the read range, iterate rows and all of that. But then we have the if statement. And then below that, we can see what the log message does. Is there something I would like it to also do? Yes. I would love it if in this if statement name header here, it would actually look into the condition that I'm inquiring about and then take that into consideration and maybe include it in the auto-generated name here. It doesn't do that yet. But still, even with you know these, these very small uh, things, it's very helpful in order for you to better name your activities and build a better and more readable outline of your sequences. And really, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, I hope you do. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because then you'll know when I put out new videos. That's happening more and more often. And um, I have a lot of autopilot stuff and document understanding series coming up very soon. So hopefully I'll see you in one of those videos. See you next time. Bye.